All right. Uh, this will be our next example. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is find the vertices. And we're going to do that um, by taking a squared and taking the square root of it. So in this case, a squared is equal to 9. So we'll take the square root of both sides so that we end up with a is equal to plus or minus 3. a is in the y location, so we'll end up with 0 is equal to plus or minus 3 for our vertices. Now our co-vertices okay, will be our b value, and it'll be the smaller. Since there's nothing written underneath x squared, we know that that's 1. So b squared is equal to 1. We'll take the square root of both sides. So we end up b is equal to plus or minus 1. And since the co-vertices, I mean the b value is underneath the, the x squared, uh, it'll be in the x location, so it'll be plus or minus 1 and 0. We actually have enough to graph it, but we'll go ahead and, since we were told to find it, we'll go ahead and find it. Um, we need to find c. c is equal, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Um, so in this case, it'd be 9 minus 1. So we end up with c squared is equal to a. Uh, now we'll take the square root of both sides. And we'll end up with c is equal to, um, it's not a perfect square, so I'll break it apart. Uh, we'll be able to take out a 2, so it'll be 2 squared of 2, so plus or minus 2 squared of 2. Now, um, it'll be in the same uh, direction as the vertices, so for this one, I would have 0 plus or minus 2 squared of 2 for this. Uh, now, the last thing we're told to do is graph this. So what I'll do is go up to 3, uh, down to 3, and then go over to 1, and negative 1, okay, and then um, go over here and graph shape. That's our list.